Change management. As we have mentioned before, it's very common for customers to change their minds. Something changed in the business. Change request. The customer forgot to tell you a specific requirement. Change request. Perhaps the customer saw your demo running and she doesn't like it. You keep discovering hidden needs. Organizational priorities have changed. New technologies have emerged. New stakeholders have been engaged. Users have changed their preferences. Any of these will result in a requirement change request. This is normal, my friend. People change their minds. Take yourself as an example. You saw a dress, a suit, car, and after purchasing it, you tried it once and you didn't like it and stopped using it. Actually, why should we go too far? People fall in love, get married, and after a while they divorce. Change request. The same thing happens in the software industry, especially in large systems. We all know that it is difficult, if not impossible, to define or gather all the requirements at the very beginning of the project. That's why the requirements process is very iterative. As the project progresses, more information becomes available, and accordingly, requirements will be either added, deleted, or modified. Besides, change requests originate from various sources, not just the customer, as most of us have in mind. In reality, the change request can come from the inside. For example, the developer or the designer can initiate a change request because a specific requirement cannot be implemented as agreed due to technical limitations, or it was discovered late in the development cycle that a specific requirement will contradict another requirement, and many times the designer or the developer discovers something new or discovers a better way to do something while implementing a requirement. Also, there could be a situation where an update to the operating system or a new operating system is announced to be released soon. Therefore, we should consider the change while developing the software today. That's why we need to have a reliable change request management system to make sure nothing is forgotten, nothing is slipped off. And also to make sure that every change is well documented and communicated to the rest of the stakeholders. So, we should expect many change requests, whether we like it or not. That's why we must put those change requests into considerations and manage them properly, or else everything will be chaotic. There are four points to consider to manage these change requests. Change control, status tracking, virgin control, traceability. Every company should have those four solid pillars established. Whenever you are in an interview with a new company, when it comes to the part where they ask you, do you have any questions for us? Ask them, how do they usually manage change requests in the company? This is really crucial, and this will show that you know what you're doing and like to do it professionally.